Lumen metabolism tracker ads are everywhere. It's premise of optimizing your metabolism to burn fat more often throughout the day so you lose fat quicker seems to make sense. You suppose. But given that you're here watching this video, I'm guessing you're also a tad suspicious if it really is a game changer for weight loss. I mean, there are some big believers out there. One person even ends their review with, I also highly appreciate that this is an alternative to weighing myself on a scale every day. Really? Can Lumen not only help you lose weight, but also replace the scale as your measure for progress? There's a lot of missing the forest for the trees happening when it comes to weight loss. So let's dive into the premise of Lumen and if it holds up for weight loss specifically. Hi Viewer fam, Richa here, weight loss coach at coachviewer.com. If you're an analytical thinker trying to lose weight, subscribe and hit the bell icon for new science-backed and practical videos every week. Also, heads up, a few spots have opened up for the free one-to-one -one consultation call for my Badass Body Boss program. So stick around until the end for the announcement on that. Now let's get started. Lumen is a $299 device created by two Ironman endurance athletes who wanted to know if they were primarily burning carbs or fat at any given time so they could optimize their Ironman training. The way Lumen figures out what you're primarily burning is by measuring the ratio of carbon dioxide in your exhalation compared to the oxygen in your inhalation. The lower this ratio, the more your body is using fat as its fuel source at that time. And the higher this ratio, the more carbs you're burning in that moment. To be super clear, the device is not measuring your metabolism, as I have seen nearly all one-star reviews on Amazon lament. They were probably confused because of this blurb on Lumen's site. It only tells you if you're primarily burning fat or carbs at any given moment, that's it. So here's what a day in the life of Lumen looks like. There are two parts, the Lumen device and the Lumen app on your phone. You sync the two together. 30 minutes after waking up and before you consume anything, you hold the Lumen device to your mouth, look at the Lumen app for the instructions to breathe in, Hold your breath, then breathe out. If Lumen gives a rating of one or two, then you're primarily burning fat. If it says three, you're burning both fat and carbs. And four or five means you're primarily burning carbs. Generally, if it's a four or five, it indicates that you're still burning the carbs from your dinner last night. Based on this rating, the app suggests whether you have a low, medium, or high carb day and gives food suggestions to match. For example, scrambled tofu, beans, and a green salad for breakfast, or grilled shrimp with broccoli, cauliflower, and walnuts for dinner. It also provides substitutes for ingredients based on macros. For example, if you wanted to substitute the tofu it could suggest two eggs. Lumen's app also has educational material that feels like flipping through social media stories so you can better understand Lumen and how it helps. At the end of a month of consistent use, Lumen gives you a flex score from zero to 21. The higher your flex score, the more metabolically flexible you are. If you did not get a high score, then your challenge, should you choose to accept it, would be to up your score over the subsequent months. Okay, so how does this all help with weight loss? There are two core beliefs behind Lumen. One, metabolic flexibility, as as in the ability to switch between burning fat and carbs easily being key to long-term weight loss because then you are better able to burn fat instead of carbs, leading to faster weight loss. Two, you can train your body to be more metabolically flexible through fasting, physical activity, and changing the balance of carbs, fats, and protein in your meals. This progress is represented through your flex score. Let's start with the second belief of being able to train your body to be metabolically flexible. The research showing that you can control your metabolic flexibility through diet is scarce, so this claim is widely premature and unproven. In fact, one small randomized controlled study found the opposite. Diet had no direct effect on metabolic flexibility. But even if let's say we could train ourselves to be more metabolically flexible, is this really what's holding you back from long-term weight loss? Metabolic inflexibility has been seen in people who have diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. But which came first? Is it metabolic inflexibility that causes these conditions? Or is it the condition that is causing the metabolic inflexibility? We don't don't know. What we do know is the thing under your control to improve metabolic flexibility is to lose weight. Diet only helps with metabolic flexibility insofar when it causes weight loss for overweight individuals. The exact mechanisms as to why weight loss improves metabolic flexibility is unknown. But from a purely what's in your control, versus not point of view, weight loss is the lever that improves insulin sensitivity, which then improves metabolic flexibility. Now, you may think, wouldn't Lumen still help me lose weight through telling me how to change my diet to primarily burn fat? 
Not really. You could not change your diet at all. And after a short jog, if you use the Lumen device, it would tell you you're burning carbs. This makes sense because carbs are the most efficient energy source. And so when your body is in a pinch to provide large amounts of energy, it turns to burning carbs. But does this mean you're not losing fat? Absolutely not. Let's break this down with an example. When you're sitting for 20 minutes, depending on your size, you may be burning 40 calories. 60% of this calorie burn comes from fat, which equals 24 calories. The remaining 40% or 16 calories are from carbs. That's right. Your body uses both carbs and fats to provide energy for your activities. It does not 100% only burn fats or 100% only burn carbs. It's a ratio between the two. Now, if you switch to jogging for 20 minutes, you burn 250 calories and 40% will be from fat, which equals 100 calories, while the remaining 60% or 150 calories are from carbs. So yes, you're primarily burning carbs when jogging, but you're burning more calories from fat and in total. So from a weight loss point of view, even when your primary source is not fat, you're still losing more fat jogging than sitting where your primary source is fat. Is this making sense? If yes, type makes sense in the comments below. So as you can see, whether you're burning primarily fat or carbs is not important in the big picture of weight loss. As long as you're burning more calories than consuming it, you're going to make progress. That's the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Now, you might be thinking, what about all those positive reviews on Trustpilot and other places online? They say they lost weight using Lumen. What's happening there is mindfulness around food choices. If you actually followed the standard portion sizes and balanced meals Lumen suggests every day, you're likely to see weight loss, especially if your typical choices tend to be very different. But note, it's not burning carbs or fats primarily that is causing weight loss. It's curating your meals to portion sizes and food groups that leave you satiated that is causing causing weight loss. You don't need a Lumen device to tell you this, but if using Lumen causes you to be more mindful, then that psychological benefit may be well worth it. So to summarize, a group who could benefit from Lumen for weight loss are those who find the mindfulness toward food choices by using Lumen to be a thing that happens for them, and also those who are able to follow Lumen's meal suggestions and they're enjoying following those meal suggestions. A second group who could benefit from Lumen are those doing keto. They could use Lumen as a source to check if they're in ketosis. And the last group Lumen could benefit is endurance athletes like Lumen's founders. The reason is because in endurance events, you go hours and hours without an opportunity to sit down and have a proper meal. So it's vital that you do carb loading before a sporting event so you max out the glycogen stores in your body. Because remember, carbs are the most efficient energy source for our bodies and cause optimum athletic performance. And then during training, you can monitor how long do those glycogen stores last. But for the layperson like you and me, who is not training for endurance events, we have plenty of opportunities to sit down and eat. So it doesn't matter if you're primarily burning fat or carbs as long as we're eating in a calorie deficit for weight loss. There is so much misleading logic out there and I'm not going to lie, in the many years I was trying to lose weight, I fell for pretty much all of them. But you don't have to. In my Badass Body Boss program, I cut through all the noise to help you identify the one thing you need to be doing at each stage of your weight loss journey. Because yes, there are stages to this journey. The thing that causes you to lose the first first 10 pounds is different than the thing that causes you to lose the next many pounds and so on. The Badass Body Boss program is built for you if you want value learning in depth, the science and psychology behind the entire process, to believe that weight loss need not be so complicated, that each method out there works for someone at some stage and that you just need a clear plan to finding your methods for your stage. And three, are excited by the idea of working in a collaborative fashion with me to build your customized, sustainable roadmap to lifelong success. If that's you, good news. A few spots have opened up for a free one-to-one -one consultation call. Note, this is not a coaching call and that booking a call does not guarantee you'll be admitted into the program. So if you're serious, click on the link in the description below to book a one-to-one -one consultation call for the Badass Body Boss program. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, be sure to subscribe or follow us on Instagram and share this video with whoever else you feel could use this information. And be sure to check out these two videos to learn more about how to lose fat and gain muscle like a body boss. You can do it.